I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Get a life. A bug's life. Ha, ah, it's a joke. <laughs> it's Ant Hill. Why don't you just be more confident in yourself? Also, it starts us off on JPEGs. Alarm. The grasshoppers have been spotted. Everybody, Everybody hide. Flick like needs to find the entrance to the Ant Hill. So it was like an old DOS game. Fucking... <laughs> Thank you to Paul Sherwin, Sarah Lyons, the Rosen Hackers, Spencer Hollingsworth, and Perry and Jack Mason for sending us this game. That's a lot of people. What are you talking about? I know. What? You were like, a lot of people didn't send us this game. I was like, that's like 17 people. Are you fucking trying to fuck with me right now? No. I believe the thing that I said right before the story was a lot of people fucking sent us this game. In fact, I thought more people had sent us this game. Oh. Oh wait, that is basically what you just said, isn't it? Yeah. No, I I I thought that I thought I, I could have sworn more people sent us this game. If I if I missed you, sorry. <laughs> look at his face. He's just like, I am. But you know, honestly, look at towards the screen. It's a pretty good graphics warm for the N64. Like like just have him throw. So. Cause look at that. That that pretty much embodies the. I think this the the, the movie was going for the more you know like, oh it's a kid friendly thing. This was going more for the actual life of an ant. He's a drone. He's lifeless. Yeah, yeah. He has no fucking emotions whatsoever. He's just like over here. Like, he doesn't even say yeah. words. Yeah, come here. <laughs> he, dude, he's just he's he's sensing with the chemicals. That's it. Dude, don't try to get over the pill bug. He's clearly blocking the way. I can just jump. Oh, on. never mind. Oh my god. Did you crush that bug as a bug? Yes. I don't think your collective density could even. If, if if something was so like if something was so dense right. that it was like a speck right yeah but it was like a planet uh huh if you dropped it well I suppose this planet would go to it right or is it is it m m mass or density what 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 causes gravity is it a combination yeah it's mass no it's not mass it's density D isn't that the thing behind a black hole mass it doesn't necessarily have to do with like volume though what does mass have to do with Okay, I'm probably wrong. Mass. I think I think mass is like like it could be one size or another size, but it could have the same mass. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you're right. I'm well, actually density. curious. D uh, ma and thorn bushes. God damn it. This is this is the proper conversation for this game, by the way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Laws of thermodynamics. I gotta All figure right. out something about this game. Like, In th oh. In physics, <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta figure something out about this. All right. Flick, oh my god, there's so many spinning things. That's fun. It reminds me of, uh, what is that? It reminds me of Mortimer and the Riddles of the Medallion. We gotta play that one day. I can't find it. Whoa, what the fuck is Mortimer Fly and the, the Riddles of the Medallion? High. It's this fucking old, it, this game is weird, by the way. It is, it, it, it's... It feels like one of those fucking, you know, like the 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 licensed games of the N sixty four days. Yeah. But like a little bit better. Yeah, it's we. It's kind of. It's I don't know how to explain it. It's got a little bizarre feel to it. It has decent feel. Is it? Is it good? What am I throwing? These apples. Are, how are these apples? Apples are gigantic oh, compared little, to me. <laughs> yeah, probably little berries. Nonetheless, in physics, mass refers to the quantity of matter in an object. The quantity of matter. Yes. In everyday usage, mass is sometimes referred to as weight. Okay, so I guess you're right. No, I think you're right. Really? Yeah, I think you're <laughs> Kill right. This fucking situation. <laughs> I think you're right. No, you're right. No, you're <laughs> right. Well, what's this? Fuck you. You're right. <laughs> like, are are we then on the same platform as before? If we have that argument, <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's like it's like just switched. Yeah. So it just just scholars. Fuck you, Toddsworth. You're correct. Your theorem is proven true. <laughs> Mine is lacking. We've tested it, and it's true. Well, I've tested it, and yours is true. <laughs> then maybe we should have another test. Then <laughs> your my margin of error is strictly higher than yours. <laughs> you're, you're making me angry, <laughs> Beanington. You are getting to the core of my heart. You are getting to the core of this issue. It is not about who is right and who is wrong. It is it's about creating the finest gasoline tanker in all of Crownsworth. And we've done it. <laughs> the guy bursts through the door in the back. <laughs> I've solved it. <laughs> what is what is the answer? And he's like, you were both right. <laughs> he's just, he's just, <laughs> you were both right. <laughs> the car will run on water, not peroxide, not cadmium. 
of 5050 <laughs> peroxide water cadmium. If you take this part of your theorem and this part of your theorem, put it together, jumble it around, yeah. put it through Microsoft Word. <laughs> Excel. The car will run on water. <laughs> we have solved the world's greatest renewable energy program. Little known fact, uh -huh. that, 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 that science studio was in Hiroshima in 1940. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Oh my god. Everyone was sorry to hear that, dude. You gotta watch out for the fucking grasshoppers. It's weird because apparently the bug's life is the Seven Samurai. Yeah, it is. It I've, is. Ne I've never seen the Seven Samurai, so... You've never? Yeah. That is one you got us. I, dude, yeah, I want that to. movie is like, you start watching it and you're like, oh, I don't fucking care. Like 30 minutes in, you're like, what what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> it's, I like dude, Kurosawa. Method, method directing and acting and all that shit. It's like, see, the best things, you have to like, it's... You have to, like, invest time in stuff to get full enjoyment. So, like, if you invest time in something that's taking its time, it'll be more satisfying in the end, I guess. And that's what... I think that's the appeal of those Oh, movies. sure. Yeah, well, that's... That's kind of my mantra on games, really. It's Investing bit, time? Yeah, because, you know... Or, what's-her-face? Jane McGonigal's definition of a game. The fourth and most important part of a game being a game is the willingness to play it. Yeah, that's true. So, like, if you're not willing to play a game, then it's just not a game. It's work. Yeah, I guess... Because every other... It's like, it's like it, ha it has a goal, there's a conflict, and it has feedback. So it's like, if it just has that and you don't want to do it, then it's not a game. It's work. It's a task. It's true. But if you want to do it, then it's suddenly a game. Yeah, I guess it... But it's suddenly a game. Yeah. Was that, like, accidentally a word? <laughs> accidentally a word. Have you seen that? <laughs> Whoa! You accidentally just made up a no, word. It's 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 like a fucking Reddit like meme or some some other. Whenever I say that, I'm very I'm careful because I'm like I bet you that came from 4chan or something, and someone's gonna be like, "It's not Reddit, it's 4chan." I'm like, "Okay, it's an internet meme. It's fuck you. It's not Reddit, it's but but world. It's a nine gag meme. <laughs> Buttworld.org. You see that e bombs world meme? No, not a lot of people know about Buttworld.org, but I do. Dude, I go there every day. People. I go there every day. It's called my daily life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making a judgment call on my life. The mass density, or density of a material, is its mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume? Oh, okay. So... So I was right. So, I guess, yeah. So what does that mean, mass per unit? Fuck. That's where I have to go and I keep dying. Oh, here we go. Wait, Fuck it. I... I don't care about maths right now. You don't? I don't uh, care about maths or mass. You know, it's funny, because I don't know if I have the brain for it, necessarily, but, like, I've always wanted to be, like, a physics scholar. You know Phys what? Physicist, I suppose you'd call that. Really? I don't know. It it's just kind seems... of depressing. All the it, physicists I've ever talked to are like, yeah, you just get a degree, and then you work somewhere, and hope that you can write a paper that somebody cares about. <sighs> yeah, I guess there's no real clear goal for that kind of thing. Because it's not it's not like being in entertainment where it's like, well, he does that really uniquely. I know everybody else stands up and goes blah, blah, blah in front of video games, but, you know, they do it in their own way. Yeah, but, how can but, you do physics yeah, in your own way? But in physics, it's like everything's already figured out. So yeah, like, <laughs> in physics, it's like, you're not doing it your own way. You're just finding out the way of the world that already existed. You're just finding out about it. Yeah, you have, <laughs> you have to go, like, balls fucking deep to, like, get somewhere where it matters. Dude, you ever seen Pen you ever heard Penn Jillette's argument on religion? It's like the most solid, just like religion ever. What is it? It's like if you went to a different planet or something. I mean, I guess there's no real way to, like, you know, uh -huh. there, there's no real way to prove this, especially if you have faith or whatever. But like, it's like if you if you went like if if everything just like parallel universe, uh -huh. but like the I don't know the physics were the same. It's like. The religions would be different, but the science would always come out the same. Like, oh, people would learn yeah. about people would learn about science concepts. They they're constant, so they'd always be learned about. Like it would be like different Martians, but they'd still have like Glocks love thermodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> so except like, they'd call it Glock. Yeah. Glock. 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 I I I am the just I'm a master of misquoting. It, it, he said it much more elegant. What if what if what if Oh my god. I never had this thought before. Okay, so you go to an alien race, right? Alien? An alien race. Yeah. And they just... We, you know, we have, like, brevity. It's like you say a... You say a sentence and you could say... What does brevity mean? I, I've heard being, brevity of wit. Being brief. Is that what that means? Yeah. Alright. Um, Good, John. Good. No vocabulary. But you can have a long sentence that says, like, a short thought. 
just because the words are big and like it's kind of a complicated thought, but it, it's like yeah. it's a simple thought when it's just a thought. So what if there's like a race of Martians or something that they are just terrible at language comparatively in terms of brevity? Yeah. So like in order to say hi, they're just like black, blue, black, 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 chick, chick, chick. And they have like really long lifespans, so it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> Why would that ever evolve that way? I don't know. That's like saying like a mosquito with uh, creepy legs and a nose. Why would that ever happen? Yeah, but oh. you just said a mosquito with creepy legs and a nose. Why would that ever happen? When another race could have just been like Blortzik the. And then, and then that would, you would, have just, would have just said the whole thing you just said. Dude, sig- what if there's a Martian that was like four times as fucking long as what we say? Four times as long? Four times. It's a, it's like Sigmund Freud always said. Who woke me up? <laughs> it's like he always said. He said that? Yeah. When did he say that? Multiple times in the book, The Snorlax of Winter. It's kind of funny because you could probably assume that he would say that. <laughs> yeah, you could probably see most people would say that. Who woke me up? <laughs> every, every, every single morning. Who woke me up? No one, Sigmund. No one. You woke up on your own. Yeah, I love how that's just like, like immediately fucking just like anger. Like there's no other way to interpret that. It's just like, dude, who woke me up? <laughs> Look at that fucking broccoli ass thing going. Bounding, 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 bounding. Who got this cat in that jaw? I'd be married a long time ago. Watching my right and none to my left. Who got this cat in that jaw? Down, 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 down